Hi, I'm Jim Smith, Undersecretary General of Committees for Musman. Today's video is going to be about uh, unmoderated and moderated caucuses. Uh, the difference between these two is as follows. Uh, an unmoderated caucus is sort of an unregulated chunk of time wherein delegates are free to mill around and talk to each other in small groups uh, without the direct control of the chair. Uh, this is where you sort of work out uh, common policy positions and begin to develop resolutions. A moderated caucus is um, sort of popcorn style debate in the sense that there is a uh, specifically set amount of time for the whole caucus and then there is a specifically set speaking time for each individual. So uh, in this video you'll see an example of each of these types of caucuses. Are there any points or motions on the floor at this time? Uh, New Zealand, what point do you write? Um, I have a motion for a 10 minute unmoderated caucus for the purpose of working on some draft uh, working papers. Sorry. Uh, that's in order at this time. Is there a second? Seconded by Japan. All those in favor of this motion, please raise your placards. And all those opposed, this motion passes. You have 10 minutes. Are there any points or motions on the floor at this time? Uh, Indonesia, what point do you rise? Motion for a five minute long moderated caucus with 30 second speaking time to discuss the limitations of private military companies. Okay, that's in order. Is there a second? Seconded by China. Uh, all those in favor, please raise your placards. And all those opposed. Okay, this motion passes. All those wishing to speak. Indonesia. Thanks, Jerry. There's good things and there's bad things both about private military companies. When private military companies are used within a nation's borders, there's nothing that the international community can do about it. One thing that France would like to bring up is that we still need to define what a private military company is. Ariane believes that we need to look at private military companies and make sure that they're following international laws. No resolution that comes out of this body is going to respect national sovereignty. Who, is, who in this body is to define what is ethical and unethical use of these organizations or corporations? So, as you saw in this video, uh, in the first part, there was an unmoderated caucus. And um, after the caucus was moved and seconded and voted on, the chair declared it in order, and the delegates broke up into different small groups, started discussing different policy positions about uh, ways to combat the illicit organ trade. Um, the, the groups that they formed were sort of uh, freely changing and shifting. You know, some delegates would stay in one group the whole time, some would bounce around between the different groups, and this is a really good way to sort of start uh, forming coalitions. In the moderated caucus, uh, on the same topic more or less, uh, you saw individual delegates coming up and speaking for um, about 30 seconds apiece about different suggestions they had for uh, solving the problem of the illicit organ trade.